Hi Year 11 and welcome to the very first episode of Mathematical Mowbray Movies. I know you're pretty pumped about these and looking forward to some quality evening mathematical viewing. So let's get straight into it. We're beginning this first video by looking at the content that is in Chapter 3 of the Year 11 textbook. We're not actually starting with the content in the first exercise, we're starting with the content in the second exercise. So we're looking at the stuff in Exercise 302 which is all about similar figures. Hopefully some of it comes back to you from your junior years because you have looked at this stuff before, but we'll obviously review it from the start. First of all, we need to ask ourselves, what do we mean by similar figures? And it's got a very precise meaning in mathematics. You can see that these two triangles that I've got here look like they're similar. So they look like they're a similar shape but obviously a different size, but we've got to really have um, a very precise definition around this term similar. So the two um, properties of similar shapes, the first property is that they are the same shape. So not just triangles, but they're actually the same shape as a triangle or the same shape as a quadrilateral, but they may be different sizes. So we might look at two figures, like these two figures, and we might have a hunch that, yeah, they are similar. They look like they're the same shape, but different sizes, but we have to actually be able to prove it. And so to prove it, we have two options. So the first option is that we can show that the matching angles are equal that all the matching angles are equal. And I'll talk about what I mean by matching angles in just a moment. The other option is that we can show that the matching sides are in ratio. So what do I mean by these matching angles and matching sides? Let me just draw another couple of triangles. These ones aren't quite as precisely drawn obviously. When we're talking about matching angles, we're talking about angles that are in the same location on the triangle. So you can see pretty clearly that I'm going to pretend that I know that these are right angles, but you can see that these are in the same location on this triangle. Now I could have these rotated, but I'd still be saying they are between these two sides. So if I label this ABC and this one DEF, then this little angle here I would label as angle ABC. ABC. This angle here I'd say is angle DEF. And they form a pair because they're in matching locations. Then I'd have to say to myself, well now I'm looking at this angle and what's the matching angle in that in this particular triangle? Well, for this one it looks like it's this angle here. So I'd be saying to myself, BAC, so angle BAC, notice that the vertice is always the middle letter, and angle EDF, well, they form a pair as well. And then finally, these other angles, so angle BCA or ACB, doesn't matter which way I say it, as long as the C is in the middle, and angle DFE they'd form a pair. So I've got to ask myself, are those matching angles all equal? So does angle ABC equal angle DEF? Does angle BAC equal angle EDF? And so on. The other one is that I can show that matching sides are in ratio. So what are my matching sides? Well this side matches with this side. So I'd say that side AB and DE are a pair. I'd say that side BC and EF are a pair. And I'd say that side AC and side DF, they're a pair. So I've got to be able to show whether they are in ratio and I'll explain what that means in a moment. So that's the first thing. You've got to be able to identify the matching angles and the matching sides. 
So let's have a look at um, a couple of questions now and see if we can prove whether some shapes are, um, are similar. So here's our first example. So you can see that these two shapes aren't orientated the same way, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not the same shape. It just means that one might be twisted or whatever. So we've got to be a little bit clever with, um, with that stuff. So we need to have a look at these shapes and decide, are we going to prove that these are similar figures using the matching angles as being equal or the matching sides as being in ratio? So you have a look at the information you're given. In this one, we're not given any information about the side lengths, but we are given information about the angle sizes. If two angles are marked with the same symbol, that means those two angles are equal in size. So in this triangle, I can see that this angle here marked with this dot, so this would be angle, can you see that? Yeah. This would be angle CAB. I can see that that is the same size as angle EGH. And I know that because they've both got the dot. So I can say that they're equal. I can see that angle, this one here, ABD. I can see that that's equal to this one since it's got the same symbol, GHF. Doing the same with these other two, I can see that this angle and this angle are equal. So I can see that angle ACD is equal to angle GEF. And finally, I can see that this angle here, the one with the, um, the double line, angle CDB is equal to angle EFH. So what I've shown here is that these matching pairs of angles, that they are equal. So I can say, therefore, all matching pairs are equal. And so I can therefore say these shapes or these figures are similar. So that's our first example. We're just going to look at one other example and then you're all going to have a go at um, some questions yourself. Let's go back to, um, I don't know if that'll get in the way. So let's go back to this example that we were looking at um, before. So these are our two triangles. Again, we look at the information we're given and we decide, are we going to prove that these are symbol similar? by looking at matching angles or looking at matching sides. Well, here I'm not given any information about the angles. I'm just given information about the sides. So I'm gonna to have to use that. So I look at those sides and I have to prove in this case that the matching sides are in ratio. So I'm gonna to need to know what a ratio is. And a ratio, just as a little reminder, we often see a ratio with this sort of symbol in between it, but a ratio is the same as a fraction. The same as a fraction. So the ratio 2 is to 3 is the same as the fraction, whoops, sorry, you can't actually see that, is the same as the fraction 2 thirds. Okay, so this symbol here is just like a fraction sign. So I've got to look at my matching pairs. On this, um, in this particular case, I look at AB and I look at DE. They're the matching sides. So they're in the same location on both triangles. And so I look at the ratio of one of those sides to the other side. We introduce this terminology called image and object. So the, the original shape is what we call the object. In this case, we'll assume it was this one because it's on the left. And the image is, um, is the shape that's been enlarged or potentially enlarged. So let's have a look we're looking at the ratio in each case of the image to the object for each of those sides. So I'm looking first at the ratio of angle, uh, sorry, side DE in the image to side AB in the object. So side DE has a length of six, 
Side AB has a length of 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I've got one ratio there. Now I look at the ratio of another pair of matching sides, DF and AC. So I say DF and AC, what's the ratio of those two? Well, DF is 9 and AC is 4.5. 9 divided by 4.5 is 2. So, so far, so good. These numbers are the same. But I have to check all matching sides are in ratio. So I do my last one. I've done this one and this one. I've just got to make sure I look at this bottom one here. So I'm looking at EF, the ratio of EF, to BC. EF has a length of 4 centimetres in this case. BC has a length of 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I can see that this, this and this, all of these ratios are the same. So I can say the matching sides are in ratio. So therefore, um, these are similar figures. So that brings us to the end of this video. It was all about proving that two shapes are similar by showing that either the matching angles are equal or the matching sides are in ratio.